In this video I would like to talk about how to get systems more stable. I use the strategy tester and in most cases also a random entry in connection with a normal entry. Because such random entries can help to make the system more stable. This is the system I'm working on right now and let's take a look at how that works. We start with $100,000 deposit. At $105,000 we want an account based stop function to kick in and that's going to track a trailing stop that starts at 95% of the total capitalization. So let's start our test and we will see here in a few seconds that the positions are opened and the account balance increases. These drawdowns here can have a negative impact on the overall system. And if they get too big, then our stop loss should kick in. We are trading here from 2016 to the current date. You can see this can sometimes go down quite a bit here. But it's all relative. Because as it goes up, you can see that the proportional drawdowns don't look so scary anymore. So you can't necessarily rely on your own eyes there. It's much more important to look at the numbers. And this is just one of many possible realities. Because this random component allows us to test different outcomes. We're here now in 2021. It's going to take a little bit of time for our expert advisor here to reach the current date. And when it does, then we'll have a result. That's the case now. Here below we see now in the back test, we have made a profit of $31,674. We'll remember that number now and then we'll just start the same test again. I haven't changed anything here on the parameters. But by trading random entries, we will get a different result. And the advantage of this is that you can do so-called mass tests. That means I don't have to look at it every time here. But I can also rely on the fact that if I do 100 tests, it will run the same way in the background. And then I just look at the results. We have provided another video on this channel for that. Anyone who wants can take a look at that. I think that mass testing with MQL5 is the criterion that could change the minds of all the people who are still using MetaTrader 4 to use MetaTrader 5 after all. Because with such test series here you can save yourself an incredible amount of time. This variant here also seems to work well. The drawdowns could be a bit smaller. That's the part we want to optimize when we develop a system like this. And this is certainly at least the 20th or 30th version of the system. Our second result is here now at $23,317. And now let's switch this over to the slow, generic algorithm. Now here I'm going to use my random component. Say I want to start at 1 and test 10 results in increments of 1. Click on start at the bottom, then the test process starts right here. I see here on the right hand side the percentages are counting up and as soon as our first results are ready, they will then be displayed here in our results table. The first two runs are in and here we see the profit expectation of the system. Now because this is a short video, we're only going to do this for 10 runs. But normally I do this for 100 runs in at least one year. Now this was 5 years in the first half of 2022. So here comes our results now. And if you want to calculate the profit expectation of a system, then you would now add up all the profits here and subtract the losses from that. Even if you don't want to deal with this mathematically so much now, then you can see that the overall result here is quite profitable. If you want to learn more about such mass tests, or the creation of automated systems, then perhaps the premium course is interesting for you. You can find that on our website and in this short video you learned how to make systems more stable with a randomized entry component and how that helps you improve the overall stability of your own system.